Hello and welcome to a video tutorial showing you how to move objects inside of Google Drawings without using your mouse. My name is Tyler Osborne. So I'm going to show you how to move objects inside of Google Drawings using your keyboard, which is a great way to fine-tune your drawings and just get that exact placement that you want. Sometimes using a mouse can be a little bit frustrating, especially if you're using a Chromebook because some of those mice aren't very good. So I'm going to start um, by placing my desks here around my classroom because I'm going to make a classroom scene um, using the mouse. I'm going to use the mouse because those big movements sometimes can be a little bit easier with a mouse than, than having to click the keyboard a whole bunch of times. So I'm just going to move these desks generally where I want them. And then we'll use the keyboard to fine tune. Whoops, I didn't mean to drag there. There we go. Okay, so I want these desks to have a bit of a 3D effect as if I'm the teacher from the front of the room. So I'm going to use my keyboard now. I'm going to use the up down arrows as well as the side to side arrows on the right hand side of your keyboard to move these desks around a bit. So I'm going to try and get them generally a little bit closer here. And just using the arrows, whenever you press the arrow buttons, the uh, image jumps about 10 pixels. And sometimes you need uh, a little bit more fine tuning than that. So if I'm looking here at my desks, this desk on the bottom is a bit higher than this desk right there. So I'm going to use the fine tuning movement, which is sh uh, press and hold shift and then press your arrow keys. And I can move one pixel at a time instead of 10 pixels at a time. So I can really make the desk placement exactly what I want it to be. So I'm just using that fine tuning to try and make them just about the same really sell that 3D effect. So I move that one right in there. Like that. Need to a bit more. There, and now it's just about perfect. So I would definitely teach this skill to your students um, if you're doing a lot of work in Google Slides or Google Drawings, because it works in both programs. Um, and it just lets them get that perfect placement and really helps improve the uh, quality of their digital art. All right, that's all you need to know. Thanks for watching.